Hello boys and girls, welcome to the Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. The Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program is a 30 minutes radio intervention support program that is meant to provide continuous instruction to keep you academically engaged during this stay-at-home period, as well as preparing you our 6th, 9th, and 12th graders for the Penny Liberia Primary School Certificate Exam, Liberia Junior High School Certificate Exam, and West Africa Senior Secondary Certificate Exam when the time comes. Also, in addition to this academic support, the program is meant to provide psychosocial support for learners, teachers, and parents, and also tips on how you as parents and teachers can provide support to your students and children at home. Now, let's join our teacher for today's lesson. Hello, learners. Our subject today is Literature in English for Grade 12. And the topic is African drama with emphasis on the drama Let Me Die Alone by John K. Cabo. Please take your pencils, pens, and copy books and get ready for today's lesson. Again, welcome and let's learn. Lesson Objectives. By the end of the lesson, learners will be able to examine themes in a literary work, demonstrate knowledge of characters by characterization, and utilize context clues and or a dictionary to define vocabulary. Your presenters today are Marie Herring Menza and Hassan Bangura Sr. Let's take a look at some literary terms. One, setting. Setting, the time and place in which a literary work occurs. Two, character. Character, a person or animal who takes part in the action of a literary work. A person or animal who takes part in the action of a literary work. Three, conflict. Conflict, the main problem or struggle in a literary work which can be internal and or external. Conflict, the main problem or struggle in a literary work which can be internal and or external. Four, foreshadowing, foreshadowing. Foreshadowing is the act of hinting at events that will happen later in a poem, story, or play. The act of hinting at events that will happen later in a poem, story, or play. Number five, theme. Theme. A central idea of a literary work. There can be more than one thing in a story. Number six, symbol. Symbol. A symbol is a thing that stands for or represents both itself and something else. Now, learners, please listen as we present an analytical summary of the African drama, Let Me Die Alone by John K. Cabo. This is a was text for grade 12. Let Me Die Alone addresses the gender struggles 
of the famous Madame Yoko, who was the first female paramount chief over the Mende people in the southern province of Sierra Leone. Although she was influential with the British and was one of the most powerful rulers of the Parmende Confederacy, her femaleness remained at the core of the many crises she encountered both within and without her chiefdom. Yoko is a beautiful, ambitious, and courageous woman who joins an all-male secret society, the first poro society, and consequently loses her right to motherhood, though not her sexuality. In becoming a male female, Yoko is much feared by her male contemporaries, envied by women in her constituency, and doubly pliable in the hands of the British rulers. Before Baya, Yoko's husband died, he had asked Governor Rowe and some of his relatives to secure the throne until Movi, Baya's successor, died. The colonial government then installed her as a dependable ally. Yoko is seen by many of her subjects as a usurper and a friend of the colonial administration. This controversy is packaged in the play as a defiance of the cultural norm that women should not bear rulership during war times. Being a visionary who willingly give up the privilege of childbearing for the leading chieftaincy title in all of Parmende, she is willing to disprove the myth of female inferiority. Yoko is presented as an impressive ruler, heroic proportion. She is also presented as a complex figure whose feminine comportment, sensuality and beauty promoted her among women, but whose fearless soul and unrestrained ambition made her competent and a visionary leader among her male counterparts. Yoko does on Geneva, a much-loved child in her kingdom, although tradition insists on her relinquishing motherhood for the crown of leadership. Lamboy, Yoko's brother, exploits this flawed belief when he accuses his sister of sacrificing children, in this case, Geneva, to formulate powerful powers to keep her on the throne. By framing Yoko as a heartless female who does not know the pain of childbirth, Lamboy essentially reconfigures her as a male. By implication, her success as a leader cannot therefore be credited to her femaleness. Thus ends the summary. And now, learners, let us meet the characters. Madame Yoko. Madame Yoko, ruler of Mende chiefdom. She wants to inherit the chiefdom of Sinehu after her husband. Banya. Banya. He is Yoko's husband, ruler of the Mende chiefdom. He has 37 wives, but cherishes Yoko the most. He suffers intense humiliation in the hands of Governor Rowe, who flogged him publicly and equally fined him in his own domain. Ndapi. Ndapi, the chief warrior of Senehu, the best warrior in Mende land under Banya. He is Jilo's husband, but insensitive to women's feelings. He is described as a heartless man. Lamboy. Lamboy. He is Yoko's brother 
who is hell-bent on ascending to the throne of Sinehu. He deploys blackmail and intrigues to achieve his purpose. He is vicious, deathly, and will stop at nothing to get going. Musa. Musa. He is the seer and medicine man who is supposed to give divine guidance to the chief and the entire society. He connives with Lamboy to poison and kill Banya, abducts and kills Geneva in order to set the community against Yoko. Learners, we just presented the characters in the drama Let Me Die Alone by John K. Cabo. Next, we will examine the themes within the drama. Traditional Society and Civilization Traditional Society and Civilization Conflict between a proud and traditional society and a haughty and even contemptuous alien civilization bent on imposing its will on the people and the environment. Traditions and unfair demands on womanhood. Traditions and unfair demands on womanhood. Yoko calls into question a tradition that insists on her relinquishing motherhood for the crown of leadership. When she dotes on Geneva, a much-loved child in her kingdom, and when she openly laments the sacrifice of childbearing. Bargain for power and dominance. Bargain for power and dominance. Yoko bargained for power from her husband and got it. Betrayal. Betrayal. Maya trusts Musa, his medicine man, and Lamboy, one of his trusted warriors and brother to his wife Yoko. These two unfortunately betrayed his trust. It is in their hands he dies. Musa poisoned Banya under the pretext of administering pain relief medicine to him. Similarly, Governor Ro betrays Yoko's loyalty by dissolving her power to humiliate her. She commits suicide. Lasana also betrays Ndapi, his best friend, by seducing and sleeping with his wife, Jilo. Learners, we hope you have followed closely with this analytical summary of the African drama, Let Me Die Alone by John K. Cabo. This is a grade 12 was text. Before we give out your homework assignment, please listen to some health information. Coronavirus spreads via droplets. When the person coughs or sneezes, the droplets land on surfaces and are picked up on the hands of others and spread further. People catch the virus when they touch their infected hands to their mouth, nose, or eyes. It follows that the single most important thing you can do to protect yourself is keep your hands clean by washing them frequently with soap and water or hand sanitizer. Welcome back, learners. You are listening to a Ministry of Education and Partners Coronavirus COVID-19 Teaching by Radio presentation. 
Homework assignment. Identify and discuss some of the dramatic techniques used in the play. Identify and discuss some of the dramatic techniques used in the play. A. Language. A. Language. B. Songs and dance. B. Songs and dance. C. Comic relief. C. Comic relief. D. Symbols. D. Symbols. E. Foreshadowing. E. Foreshadowing. And now, here are some questions up for discussions. Two, discuss Madame Yoko as a tragic character. Discuss Madame Yoko as a tragic character. Three, how is the theme of betrayal portrayed in the play? How is the theme of betrayal portrayed in the play? Four, what is the significance of Genoma as a character in the play? What is the significance of Genoma as a character in the play? Five, Explain the role of the sandy dancers in the play. Explain the role of the sandy dancers in the play. To read the drama, see the enactment, and to define unfamiliar words, please visit the following websites www.youtube.com and in the search field put in the name of the drama Let Me Die Alone www.dictionary.com to help you define unfamiliar words Thank you learners Please continue to study until we meet next time on the following stations. 1. Firestone Radio, 89.5 2. ECOWAS Radio, 91.5 3. Cool FM, 91.9 4. ELBC 99.9 5. Truth FM 96.1 We also can be reached on other community radio stations. If you have any questions or need clarification on today's lesson, please text it to the following number, 0555 We have been your presenters, Mighty Herring Menza and Hassan Bangura Senior. Thank you for listening. Amen.